Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. Uh, modest weakness here, considering we were at new highs. Remember, the big problem over the weekend is the COVID variant is sort of boxing in that reflation trade, the materials, the industrials, all the travel stocks. Take a look at the sectors today. You can see that. Uh, you see energy stocks, you see material stocks, industrial stocks, bank stocks weak. Tech is holding up because moderate growth will do okay in this environment. Consumer staples are also holding up. That's the defensive trade. If you look at what we call the broad swath of cyclicals, some of them are also value stocks today. You can see uh, the material stocks, Freeport, New, uh, Freeport Mac and uh, Nucor, the travel stocks like Carnival, uh, consumer cyclicals like United Rental and Whirlpool. Those are the weak sectors. And again, that speaks to that COVID variant and what's going on. A lot of questions for traders this week. Uh, among them, of course, what's going on at the Federal Reserve. You heard Steve Leesman talking about the potential for an earlier taper, maybe October, November, rather than January. The Delta variant, well, it's, I said before, boxed in market. That's the problem right now. And of course, we haven't talked about Biden, but there's a lot of discussion about what, if any, damage to his political capital uh, has happened as a result of Afghanistan. And that includes on the infrastructure negotiations. Why are we at new highs? I'll tell you, it's very simple, because we have incredible earnings that just keep going up. Let me just show you the second quarter, 2019 versus 2021 here. Uh, I, I want to point out some of the things here before we go to that. Let me just tell you about the retailers and what's going on here. The retailers are flush with cash right now. The retail earnings situation is going to be fantastic because the consumer, as I mentioned, is flush with cash. Most of the retailers are passing on higher costs. Demand is high and supply is low, and we've got very little on sale out there. So the important thing is we're going to get retail earnings this week, and the consumer has never looked better than they look right now. If you look at some of the big names that are out there and what's going on, well, there's a lot of discussions about that. The Delta variant is really the wild card here. So the key test uh, is back to school, and if you look at some of the big numbers here, apparel They've held on very, very well. Big names like Urban Outfitters, Under Armour, Gap, Capri Holdings, all doing really well. Uh, but the big issue is everybody going to go back to school? Is everybody going to go back to the weddings? Is everybody going to go back and refresh their wardrobe for back to work? We don't know that. These stocks have been acting like they have and they will be happening in the fall. But again, that's a big uh, wild card. The department stores, same situation. These stocks, the Macy's and the, the Coles of the world, they all ran up in the earlier part of the year. Most of them have been sideways since then under the theory that we're going to have a, a significant reopening. I think the problem, again, we don't know to what extent there's going to be reopened. Just want to go back to that point about the S&P earnings. Carl, S&P earnings are up 30 percent compared to the second quarter of 2019. The revenues are up 8 percent. So this is amazing. You have a modest increase in revenues in the last two years. Use 2019 and a huge increase in earnings. And, Carl, that is operating leverage. Modest increase in revenues because you have massive cost cutting. The bottom line blows up. 8 percent increase in revenues, 30 percent increase in earnings. And people, of course, are still noticing that margins at 13 percent for the S&P 500. That remains at a record. And that, Carl, is why we're hitting these new 52-week highs, at least on Friday. Back to you. Not to mention the record cash hoards uh, for global companies uh, being written about today as well. Bob, thanks. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.